Happy Ganesh Chu Chu Chi Cha Cha Dur Tu T T Yeah Cha Happy Ganesh Cha Chu Chi Cha Dur T Cha Tu Tri No Cha Cha Dur T Cha Tu T Happy Ganesh Cha Tu Tri to all the Hey guys welcome back to Korean Dumpling I'm Bex and I'm Arna so we just want to say a really quick thank you to those of you who have recently joined the Curry and Dumpling fam. Mm -hmm. We have just reached 1,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank you so much for you know your love and continuous support. Really helps us to keep going and motivates us to create more content for you guys. So if you like it, um, you know, do share with your friends and family. Share on social media. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Just just, just spread the love. And today is it's an auspicious ceremony, auspicious day in India. My family and a lot of people back home are celebrating Ganesh Puja. So happy Ganesh Chaturthi to everybody. Happy Ganesh Chaturthi. Cha. Cha. Tur. Tu. Ti. Ti. Yeah. Cha. Happy Ganesh Chaturthi. 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 Not cha Chaturthi. Chaturthi. Happy Ganesh Chaturthi to all the viewers from India. Hope you guys have a good time. Um, in you know, especially you know, people from Mumbai or Maharashtra watching this video. Um, you know, have a good time and you know, just celebrate with your family. You're still wondering how to say that. Happy Ganesh Chaturthi. Please, teacher, or at least comment below if she's saying it right or not. I'm trying to teach her, but she's not very used to Hindi, so it's a hard um, you know play of the tongue. So yeah. Anyway, so um, on our last video, you know, we reacted to Indian Army Nation first, and a lot of viewers really liked the video, really liked our reaction to it. And it's a good chance for her to learn about Indian culture, Indian, you know, Indian politics, or just India in general. And a lot of our viewers have recently uh, commented that we should be reacting to this really popular video called "Voice of Nagaland" as one and we thought we should give it a try especially because northeast india is underrepresented in india it's not because india when people talk about india people talk about delhi agra mumbai bangalore jaipur nobody talks about sam sikkim meghalaya mizoram tripura arunachal pradesh nagaland and manipur if i i hope I, and assam yeah yeah so there are eight states so today we wanted to react to one of the states that's nagaland and it kind of shows the different tribes in that area, different cultures and different out, you know, their, the way they dress and the way they, you know, the languages they speak. So it'd be really nice to show her um, because a lot of people think in India, they are just, we are all kind of, you know, big eyes and uh, we are all brown skinned and, and, and it's just, in, there's a very stereotypical image that is out there, but nobody really knows about the North, northeast part of India. YouTube is a good medium to kind of spread the knowledge and share the you know just spread the word about how diverse India actually is. Um, also, you know, both of us love Momo. Oh yes. So oh, you know, Momo. Momos are are a you know delicacy. You know, it's eaten in a lot of places. Um, you know, Nepal, Sikkim, northeastern states. And when we went to Delhi, we went to Delhi Hut. Mm. And we went to these you know stalls because you know in Delhi Hut there are different stalls for like every state of the country. And we used to, we went to like Nagaland or you know um, other you know various states, and they have some amazing momos, and mm, mm, mm. it's just just with the chutney, yeah, oh. the red spicy chutney, the green chutney, and it's just it's basically dumpling, but the hot acha laga. How would you say I want to eat momos now? Mujhe momo chahiye. Mujhe momo, mujhe abhi momo khana hai. Mujhe abhi momo khana hai. Alright, so let's watch the video yeah. and see her reaction to it. <laughs> what happened, baby girl? So, Voice of Nagaland presents as one. So, I think it's trying to say that... Um, so, these are all people in from Nagaland, just that one state? No, so it's... It is primarily the people of Nagaland, okay. but it's still saying that as a country, it's, it's you know... Oh, as India as a country, as, it's one. It's one. Like, okay. we have so many diverse cultures and stuff, right. 
uh, that doesn't make us different people. We, uh, you know, first and foremost, we are Indians, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then we, you know, the states and the ethnicities and everything comes mm-hmm. in. But India as a whole is as one, mm-hmm. and I think the entire video goes through a lot of people in northeastern places, okay. uh, in northeastern states, but also there's different people from all over India. You will see, okay. I think. So this is the director, Charles Cresson. So almost looks like like American Indians. Yeah. And there's one thing that they are famous for, not Eastern. They're really famous for like music. Oh. Like like rock bands and stuff. Oh. So really. So it was that guitar player also? Yeah. Probably one of. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I generally see a lot of because you know they come to Delhi and yeah. stuff for education. They go to college. They go to mm-hmm. university. But there are a lot of them are into rock music and heavy metal and stuff. So they're really talented people. Is what is India music wise? Is that something that like? It's very. Or different. do you have like Indian kind of like pop kind of? So there's obviously there's typical Bollywood music, right? Ah. Uh, and in, even in Bollywood, there is some trash music, really bad music. Oh, uh, okay. Just like English stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, really trash yeah. and some really yeah. nice yeah. music and you know, singers and uh, stuff. But then you have Indian classical. Uh, and then every state has its own kind of music because it's different uh, language. Okay. So it's very diverse. So if you see the outfits, yeah. it's very... Yeah. Um, so are they different, they're different tribes, right? Different tribes. So that's different why their outfits are different. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Ch- Chakisan. Um, How would you say it? Chakisan. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Chakisan. It's so weird, like... She looks like Chinese. Yeah. Like if I saw her in the street, I'd love oh, another Chinese person. I know, right? Oh, gosh, she looks, she looks, she looks almost Korean. I know. Ow. Ow. But I, I, I mean, I can't understand the language. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now so he see. looks, he looks like what I would think in India. Exactly, because he's Telugu. Okay. So he's from Andhra Pradesh. Or oh. Telangana, so it's in on the south. Okay. Even though the video is about Nagaland. the not, not Nagaland yeah. and all these people, is just showing that everybody together okay. Okay. It's, it's as one. Are they singing in the same language? No. So every uh, every time you see okay. a different person yeah. with a different thing, they're speaking in their regional oh. language. Yeah. So this is this guy is speaking in Telugu. Okay. And obviously his outfit is you know on the shirt, and he has a thing called lungi, like a wrap. It's really nice. Yeah. It's kind of like what you guys wear like a wedding, no? I mean, uh, kind of, yeah, yeah, like Shirwani, but not Shirwani oh, really. Okay. This is more on the southern side. Okay. I really like this kind of music. Which one? Like the, with the, I don't know. The, the vocals? Harm- yeah, the harmonizing. This is Assamese. Oh. Your mom, did you say your grandma's? From yeah, that? so, yeah. Um, my grandma, even though she's Bengali, oh. and she lived all her life in Orissa, which uh-huh. is just below West Bengal. She uh-huh. she grew up in Assam, uh-huh. and she can speak a bit of Assamese, and also my mom can speak, I think, better than her. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's really cool. One of her friends, Prashant, he's from Assam. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She so, looks so Chinese. Uh, this is cognac. I like all the colors. Like mm. it's really nice how they all have colors. And- is Chan. Like, can can you? Does it ring a bell in terms of their dialects, in terms of their words? Is it Asian? No. I don't. Or at least you don't know. No, I don't know. I'm assuming these aren't the things that they wear like day to day, right? This is no. for a special occasion. Yeah, and also it depends, right? If you're obviously in a city person, then obviously they don't. They probably wear it just like what everybody does. Yeah. But if you are, you know, if you are the tribal people, then obviously um, you tend to wear your just things, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. This outfit looks a bit like Scot- Scottish to me. Oh, because of the, the kilt. The kilt and then yeah. even the thing. Oh, and right, right. It almost looks like he has like bagpipes. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It does, it does. 
That's our cat meowing, by the way. I think it's so cool how like it's so different but also very similar mm. and I love all the colors and also like because this part of India is mm. kind of surrounded by China, Tibet, Nepal, uh. Uh, Myanmar mm -hmm. so it's already going to a South Asia, Southeast Asia so the features the maybe mm. the language do you think like way back if you go back into like the mm. family trees, yeah, yeah, you think yeah. a lot of oh, yeah. them can be related to like. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure they came from China. Some people descended from like Mongolia, Mongoloids and stuff. So this is because obviously there was so much movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, right? And then they kind of decided to settle in a piece of yeah, land, yeah, yeah. and then happened to be a state mm -hmm. in India. So this is. Rajasthani, obviously that's where oh, Jaipur is. Ah, so that's like a traditional Indian outfit that I would normally think of as Yeah, like the sari and stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what you used to. But that's what people the think. Tikka. Yeah, the bindi. Oh, bindi. Yeah. What's the difference between bindi and the tikka? Bindi is like something you put, like a sticker thingy. Ah, uh, you know? and the tikka is the red powder. No, that's sindoor. Oh, I Tikka is like when you do like a puja and they put on the in the head. Oh, okay. That's Tikka, yeah. And then the one that I got when it was married. Married, that's Sindhu. Yeah, and Bindi is just something you put for makeup. How come this one is called Muslim? Yeah, is that so I think a state? it's not. So I think it is right now they're just playing into the religion part because obviously people think India is you know is mostly Hindu, but it's not. I mean, it is, oh. but India is a secular state. Right. And India has so many religions here. Mm. You know, majority of people are Hindu, but we have Muslim people, we have Christian people, yeah. we have Sikh people, we have Buddhist. I always thought Jain. it was called Sikh. Sikh. Yeah. Actually, it is, yeah, Sikh. Well, you always say Sikh. Because Sikhism. Sikhism. I always say Sikh. Tell us which is correct. <laughs> yeah, like, obviously, for me, I just know it's Sikh. Yeah, I think it's Sikh, yeah. I just got that wrong. Yeah. Sikhism. The, you know, I have so many friends and they're lovely people. Yeah. They're, they're well, obviously, super, super like, nice. everyone is nice, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, It doesn't matter what religion, where exactly, you're from. Exactly, exactly. Right. So that's, that's what India mm -hmm. is good at, like living together peacefully. I mean, obviously mm -hmm. there are, you know, there are issues and stuff. Yeah. But uh, this really just kind of mm -hmm. emphasizes. That no matter where you're from or what religion you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. This is Punjabi. So that's, you know, yeah. he's a Sikh. Uh -huh. So Punjabi. Like a Bollywood I know, yeah. yeah. Oh, so she's pretty. She's pretty. I really like her voice. Mm. This part really didn't give them. Yeah, I was just gonna say, it's making me emotional for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who are these people? Are they like the people who pay for them? I think they're speaking a bit of Hindi now. So now oh, Bengali! Yeah. It's you! Yeah, I can understand. That's a very famous song. This is Nepal. Nepal. Yeah. She looks a bit like your mom when she was younger. Oh yeah? I, I think so. Like so my, I think my mom does have a bit of northeastern features because oh. obviously she... I don't know why. Mm. Because she's obviously she's Bengali but then she speaks like Assamese and stuff. Rengma. Where are they? Like what are these places? Are they like... I think it's... I 
would guess it's Nagaland. Mm, like famous places in Nagaland. Yeah, or it could be any popular tourist destination and stuff. This is Bihari, so this is another state in India. But you see the the diff diversity is mm -hmm. like the range is so. Yim Even some of the states like they have very kind of like almost Chinese type names. Mm -hmm. So obviously these people are from the northeast. Yeah. So their names and tribal names are very um, in, like super influenced Sankham. by. Sankham. See, like even I mean I, I'm probably saying it completely wrong. Sankham. Could be Sankham. Could be Sankham. Yeah. I don't know. It still sounds very like, mm. Mm. They're young. Yeah. Like it's that yeah. sounds Chinese to me. I love their outfits. This is Manipuri. So Manipur is a state. But I think they could have put the what the tribe was. Yeah. They didn't do that, but that's fine. I think a lot of their outfits are very similar to because China also has a lot of different different um, um, provinces. Yeah. And different regions. Where they right? have like huh. Mao. Mao, isn't that also a Chinese thing? Probably is. I don't know. Ooh. This looks a bit more of a modern um, yeah. clothing. Yeah. Tang Kul. That sounds a bit Thai. Yeah, I, I think so too. It's so strange because looking at them all, they all look like like me. Yeah. Like I wouldn't. My first thought wouldn't be that they were, they are Indian. Yeah. Ang Ang Angami. So you see the traditional houses and stuff in the in the rural areas. Wow. So me? So we try, yeah. I mean, they're all amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel a connection with them. Uh, I get two from them. Yeah. Weird. That was really cool. That was really nice. Music recorded at Tribes Music. Oh, okay. Founder and managing director, Mr. Zhang Zhang Zeilang. Sounds very Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. Advisor A R Rahman. So he's one of the like most popular and uh, one of the best composers, singers, songwriters of India. Okay. He's like That's any cool. any famous song you might know. It's it's generally he's involved. Oh. Yeah. What do you what do you think? I feel like a lot of people need to see this video. Like anyone who's never or even Indians as well. Like mm -hmm. everyone needs to see this video because even I I've been to India what like Same. two no, or three I mean, times. I've now. I've never been to these parts of the country, right? Yeah, and I feel like I've always felt like Indians are they look like you. You know, mm -hmm. a little bit darker skin, like big eyes. Just like you can Sharper tell, nose you can tell when someone. Well, you look, you look, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know what you mean. There are people like the South, you, a, the general South Asian looks and features. Yeah, you'd yeah. be like, ah, oh, that person is Indian. Yeah. But for some of these people, I would be like, ah, oh, that person's Chinese. Or. But obviously they're not. Yeah. yeah. Um, and even in the UK, sometimes like when I go to like a a shop that's like, let's say a Chinese shop, and they assume that I speak Mandarin. And my Mandarin is not great. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, and I feel really like, I don't know, threatened by mm -hmm. the fact that I have to now speak Mandarin. It must be even worse for these people. Because then I feel like they can, a lot of other people will be like, oh, they are from wherever China, I can China or Japan yeah. or whatever, right? Yeah. And then they'll be like, oh, I have no idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, a lot of people from the northeast or when they come to in, like not you know other places in India like Delhi and you know Mumbai and stuff sometimes 
they are not treated the best mm. because they think oh you are pe- not like yeah you're not you're not yeah. indian because he looks so different yeah. right which is so unfair yeah uh, cuz they have they have been born yeah. and brought up here and they grew up in india mm. living indian values and culture mm-hmm. and now they go out to explore the country and they have been yeah. told that oh you're not a part of this country uh, which is very sad so that's why yeah. indian government has kind of made a few slurs and slangs mm. made illegal so that's if, if good though I exactly that's yeah because yeah. if you say that then you can be put behind bars mm. um, but yeah so they're really amazing people and yeah. you know um, i think what's really amazing and one of the reasons why i'm so proud and i love the fact that i've married into like an indian family is like the, your culture is so rich and mm-hmm. there's so many colors and like yes colors know, the flavors the, of food yeah, the um, festivals like it's just so beautiful mm-hmm. cuz like living in india i it was never like cuz you know you know here mm. if you talk to a person you know who's grown up in the lived in the uk forever yeah. they'll know christmas yeah they'll know easter they'll know easter chocolates and that's it yeah yeah but growing up in india right yeah. we had holidays for christmas yeah we had holidays for eid yeah we had holidays for diwali holi yeah. uh we had holidays for dashera yeah um we had holidays for buddha Jan- buddha jayanti is basically gautam buddha the mm. you know buddhism um like for for him mm-hmm. that would be a day off it's so multicultural mm-hmm. and it's so mix of people that mm-hmm. coexist mm-hmm. um but yeah it's it i'm glad you don't find it weird and you actually enjoy mm-hmm. being yeah but well, if i found it weird then i wouldn't have married you that's right that's true that's true i mean <laughs> yeah but that's what kind of works with us where i get to learn about yeah asian when i say asian i don't mean india is also part of asia but yeah. like cultures in like china and hong kong and japan yeah. and korea cuz i would not have access mm. to those or I would, at least i would not know them mm. uh if i was always living in india yeah. and then now you need to get to know about these things where these are things that nobody knows and mm. now you are learning about these things so i think it's this is why i think inter interracial relationships mm. are really cool cuz you get to learn so much from each other yeah i agree and yeah so let us know yeah uh, how you guys felt about this reaction you know obviously this kind of gave us goosebumps while we watched mm-hmm. it and it was really eye opening to see how many different tribes cultures mm-hmm. languages uh, exist just not in india just you know within those eight states mm-hmm. that are in um you know in the northeast part of india and let us know if you're from one of these states i yeah. want to learn more about your place like let us the, know yeah let your us cultures and stuff absolutely guys let us know if you should try some food from your country yeah. we would love to come and visit you know uh, the northeast cuz it's always go, like, it's always good. been one of my dreams to explore that side mm. of the country cuz it's so it's so remote and it's so unexplored and underrepresented there's so many gems out there that mm. you know it's mind boggling how pretty that place is mm. um so yeah let us know and do comment do share do like our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh we are you know trying to put out the content that you guys love and you know the want us to react to or want us to make just let us know and i want to apologize if you heard any meowing during this video yeah. our cat is very much looking for attention that is true yeah she would just wanted some love i guess so i hope everybody enjoyed the video and we might put another video before next weekend uh it's a k-pop video we want to react to uh, let us know if you want us to put it out cuz we we both love k-pop and it's one of my and her's favorite bands um so we want to see if, yes. if that be fun or not all right see you next time bye, bye.